So this is a boost converter. This is also a boost converter right here. But this one got fucked really hard. They put in like, you know, put in like, I think 500 watts. And this is like rated at 150 watts only. So yeah, totally got fried. So it's broken. But this is like a, the baby brother of this thing right here. And this thing, what it does is it kinds of like um, regulates the voltage in the amperage of your supply your DC power supply so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna I'm gonna show you how it works so we're gonna connect this to a 12 volt battery and then we're gonna use a digital multimeter to be able to see the output and how we can control the voltage and amperage with this thing the 12 volt source is going to be this thing right here it's a it's a lead acid battery, a gel battery. Essentially, it would be super nice if you could put a fuse in between all the connections to protect the device. See, this is why I hate using alligator clips. Okay, so it's not working. Why is it not working? Okay. So I think one of the wires are bad. There you go. Work. It's like you press set here. And it stops the whole process. It's you can set your limitations right here, so it could be three amps, and then it says 28 volts. So the whole output from 12 volts DC is limited to 28 volts on the output side, and at three amps. So if we turn it on, you can see that the output 28 volts. And here it is. See? Holy shit. It works. So there you go. 28 volts. 0 0.01 amps because we're not using anything. We're not running anything through this side. And then we'll try to pump up the voltage. The output. Let's check it out. 40.61 volts. So that's what our boost converter does. And you turn it off and you turn it on through here. And then you can set limitations to it. If you like this video, please do like and subscribe.